Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am treating you to something very yummy that the whole family will enjoy. We are making some rock buns. Just look at how pretty they look. <laughs> it's very simple to prepare actually and all you need are very simple ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. So if you are ready, let's start baking. So these are the ingredients we'll be using for our rock buns, our Ghana rock buns. I have here four cups of all-purpose flour sifted, very important to sift it. One cup of granulated sugar or white sugar. Half a cup of softened butter or margarine. One cup of evaporated milk. two large eggs, one cup of raisins, a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon nutmeg powder. We'll need some vanilla essence as well, one teaspoon and then some banana essence. I first add the flour to a large mixing bowl the flour is already sifted and then the sugar granulated sugar salt nutmeg powder and the baking powder i then use my whisk to mix all of this until all the ingredients are well incorporated I then introduce the butter and add it to the dry ingredients and I use my fingers to mix it until everything is mixed together well. Once you're done, you should have a type of texture or consistency where when you squeeze it, it forms into a ball, but you can also crumble it at the same time. That's the type of consistency I'm looking for. I set that aside. And in my measuring cup, I pour in my evaporated milk and then the two large eggs. I whisk it till it's smooth because I don't want any lumps at the end of it. So I just gently whisk everything. Then I add the vanilla essence, a teaspoon of that, and also my banana essence. You can also use pineapple essence. Mix all of this well, and then I create a little well in the middle of the bowl and pour in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Then I use a spatula to start mixing so that the wet and the dry ingredients can be mixed together well. This would take a couple of minutes, but you have to mix and fold gently because you don't want the type of dough where it's over mixed. It just has to have that type of texture where it's not too soft and not too dry and it's perfect this way. Once that is done, I added my raisins and gently folded until all of the raisins were mixed with the dough. And whilst at it, remember not to over mix your dough. Once it was done, they looked like this. I then greased my muffin tins with melted butter and used two spoons to, you know, scoop the dough into the muffin tins. It makes it easier that way. And I tried as much as possible to ensure that the dough was evenly distributed into the muffin tins and they were ready for the oven. Whilst I was preparing my ingredients, I made sure that I had preheated the oven and I baked it for 25 to 30 minutes and they came out looking so beautiful and so yummy. The kitchen was smelling so nice and the kids simply couldn't wait to enjoy these 
delicious hot rock buns. It's a great pastry that you can have with some hot chocolate or Milo coffee or even Coke. Um, also for the kids when they're getting ready for school and even for you when you're getting ready for work. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on the notification so that anytime I post new videos, you will be notified. To my subscribers, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I would love to hear from you. So do share comments, especially when you try the recipe. Let me know if you like it. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.